Well, now to our exclusive series this week on cell phone tower emissions and how they might be affecting people's health. Both Ottawa and the industry say the emissions are safe, but some people claim the signals are making them sick. In the third and last installment in our series, Stephanie Matisse shows you a man who claims he's got some solutions. Now we're reading approximately 150 microwatts. Per Robert square Metzinger meter. is measuring the electromagnetic oh, signal coming from this cell phone tower. tower. He's using a handheld radiation detector. Now, it may sound like the meter is going crazy, but the levels are actually well below the maximum Canadian standards for exposure. Though that doesn't put everyone's mind at ease, some are still worried about the health effects of these signals. In extremely rare cases, some people have a sensitivity to them. And that gave Metzinger his business idea. Some of the products are a shielding fabric that has a metallic thread woven into it, which reflects RF radiation. Also, we have window foil paint, and we have uh, bed shielding canopies, which uh, people sleep under. He demonstrates one of his products by reading the signal from this cell phone and then blocking it with this fabric shield. He also sells this cell phone headset. It's different than most. It has an air tube, which is kind of like a stethoscope. Metzinger says that it can keep electromagnetic signals away from your brain. It costs about $45.